Let's take a look now at some exponential equations. So here we're going to solve equations that use exponents. Well, duh, that's sort of implied here. But uh, what we're going to do then, we're going to try to remember. So remember, um, I want you to use your um, rules of exponents. So these different rules of exponents that I've just been showing you, make sure you remember or try to use those. So things like what happens with you know a to the power of m, uh, times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n and so on. So I've just done some videos before looking at a lot of these different rules. So try to remember to use those rules. There's another one that wasn't necessarily explicitly told to you, but I'd like you to remember this one. So if we have something like a to the power of, I don't know, x, let's say, and we have an equation like a to the power of k. Well, if you have a same base, which we have here, this is the base, and this is the exponent here, or the power. If we have the same base, then it follows that x equals k. This is sort of a really neat trick with using exponents here is this. Okay, so it just tells that if you have the same base, this is the key thing here. If you have the same base, and you can write it, then this thing equals this thing. So then let's take a look and see if you can do these ones. So try these ones on your own, but uh, let's say solve for x here. So try to do this on your own without my helping you. So maybe pause this video, but uh, I want to show you then how to actually solve it. So maybe pause it, try to do these yourself. Now I'm going to show you then how to do this. So x to the uh, 2 to the power of x equals 2, just like this. I'm going to use this feature here that if I can get the same base and two different exponents, then they are the same. So. 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of, well, what's going on here? This is actually like there's a little 1 here, because 2 to the power of 1 is the same. And therefore, because of that, I've got the same base, therefore, x equals 1. That's it. I'm done. It's that easy. Now let's get a little bit more complicated here. So 3 to the power of x equals 27. And we want to solve for x. Now that looks difficult, right? We want to try to figure out what value of x goes here. But the problem is these don't have the same base, so I need to write them as the same base. So the key thing is, well, let's leave this 3 here, so we'll say 3 to the power of x, because I can't really change this one, but I can write 27 as an exponent. Because 27, it turns out, is something special. Look at the powers of 3. If I say 3 to the power of 1 is 3. 3 to the power of 2, that's 3 times 3, that is 9. And 3 to the power of 3 is 9 times 3, which is 27. 27 is a special number. It's a number that has a nice sort of, you can rewrite it. Instead of 27, you can write it as 3 to the power of 3. That's the same thing as saying 27. And look, now we can use this trick here. This trick before that we were looking at, if a to the x equals a to the k. So then we can, away we go, we can do it. So then we can say, all right, well now I have as the same base. Look, 3, 3. So if it's 3 to the x equals 3 to the 3, because I have the same base, x equals 3. I'm done. That's really, I think it's pretty neat. Now we have this rule as well. So, the, uh, sorry, not this rule, but this example here. Um, so solve for x. And this time it looks more complicated. But again, the key is get the same base. So we need to start thinking about 4 as a power of something. So can you think of 4 as a power of something and also 8? And hopefully you can. Look off to the side here. 2 to the power of 2, or well, let's say 2 to the power of 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 3, that's 2 times 2 times 2, is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and so on. Well, if that's the case, then look at this. We can write 4. Instead of 4, we can say it's 2 to the power of 2. So 2 to the power of 2, all that to the 2x, equals, and 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. So instead of 8, I put in 2 to the power of 3, all that 1 minus x. That was the key, I think, hard part to doing this. Now the rest of it is a matter of using your rules of exponents. What happens if I have a base to an exponent raised to another power here? If you remember your rules, I multiply these two values. So that's going to be 2 to the power of 2 times 2x, which is 4x. Over here, then, I do the same thing here, except this time I do 3 times 1 minus x. So 3 times 1 minus x. That's what happens here. Same, I have a base to the power of 3, all that raised to the power of 1 minus x. 
Then I just need to deal with this. So 2 to the power of 4x, the same thing as saying 2 to the power of, let's see, 3 times 1 is 3, and minus 3x. I'm just multiplying this out. Well, now I have the same base, so now I know, see this part right here? This is the key part. Because I have the same base, I mean this equals this. So see how I can now forget about all the ugly exponent stuff and just work on just, just this part. So 4x equals 3 minus 3x. Well, now I can just use some rules of algebra. So I have my minus 3x can move to the left, so 4x plus 3x equals 3. And this here can be combined. 4x plus 3x is 7x equals 3. And therefore, to get x by itself, I divide by 7. Because dividing both sides by 7 gets rid of the 7 here, and so it's 3 over 7. This one might have looked really complicated. I'm just trying to show you that's how we can deal with a very, very complicated one, which I don't think is obvious at all. You can actually do it by hand without a calculator by just using your rules of exponents, by using this trick here, this trick that if you have a same base, you know, have like a to the x equals a to the k, whatever these are, then this equals this. So we use that, even though this looked really complicated, we wrote it as the same base. And once we got it 2 to the power of 4x equals 2 to the power of blah, we know that this equals this, or this equals this. And you can use that to solve for the missing variable. How cool is that?